In this video, we're going to be talking about a stylish, state-of-the-art sterilizer from Switzerland. This is the MBO S Autoclave. Uh, it's designed and made in Switzerland, um, as you just heard. Um, it's won a couple of design awards, hence being incredibly stylish. It's got some brilliant features, a seven minute cycle at 134 degrees, which is quite unbelievable. Um, and it's perfectly formed, I think it's a brilliant device. Let's start from the top though, what do you get in the box? Um, how has it come packaged? Autoclaves are notoriously heavy, usually. There's always, um, deliveries are always clumbersome and big, and you've got to have them installed. Um, and it can be a two-man job, but this is most definitely a one-person job. Um, this is the size of it, it's not overly big, I'll give you the dimensions shortly. Inside the box you'll get a quick start guide with all your validation certificates inside. Um, this is a self-validation machine, it means that when it comes out of the factory it's tested and there's paperwork to prove that. It comes to us as a distributor, uh, we test it and then it eventually goes out to customers. Um, so all you need to do is run two tests on the machine, which I'll touch on later, um, and then you're good to go. So yeah, you get a quick start guide, you get the all-important USB stick, this is the brains of the operation. Um, there's software on here, there's user manuals, there's a lovely inst installation video, uh, very useful. Um, rather than having to read for a massive thick binder book, everything is on this USB stick. You get two um, tubes, a red tube and a blue tube. The red tube will put your water out that you use, the blue tube is going to take your water in. Um, you want a canister, like this. Talk about that in a bit, um, and then you get two adapters for those tubes. So there's not a lot in the box. It's perfectly formed. The packaging on the MBO though is again something I've never seen in an autoclave before. It's this very clever sort of suspended packaging. Um, so the autoclave sits in one of these, and then there's one that goes on top, and it almost floats in transit. Uh, these can be sent via courier. They're only about 20 kilos. 25 kilos or something so they can be lifted by one person um, and taken out and installed by one person um, hence why they are becoming very popular in salons people work by themselves um, the box isn't overly big it's got lovely well I say lovely it's got very useful handles on the side I always find that um, it's so the best thing about boxes a solid box with handles so you know where exactly where to carry it and it's um, it's great, it's, it, it, it could be delivered by a courier, next day delivery, um, there's no faffing around. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it, there's not much more to it. In terms of the dimensions and size, we've got live dimensions here. So the length of the unit is 55 centimetres long, 26 centimetres wide, and it's 16 centimetres high. So it's very compact. Um, the only thing that you've got to consider is the water container. Um, we'll touch upon the size of the drawer in a minute, um, but this has not got an internal water tank. It doesn't um, keep the water inside and use the water. It, you've got to use external reservoirs. Now we will be sending ours out with two of these jerry cans, two five litre jerry cans. The idea of the jerry cans is uh, there's an in and there's an out, so there's five litres of distilled or deionized water. That's very important. What you put, you don't put any of the water in there, don't put tap water in, it's too hard. Deionized distilled water in here, it brings the water out here, uses it in the machine, and the outputs through here. People have been asking me how much water it uses. It all depends on the cycle. The seven minute cycle, uh, the, the fast seven minute cycle, will use a lot less water um, 150 milliliters, something like that. Whereas the, the longer cycle will use more water. But it's all down to the, what programs you use and how often you're doing it as to how long that low water is going to last, last you. Uh, it's open to interpretation. So these bungs go in the top of the bottles and the plug in the back of the machine, I'll go again when we talk about the programs and the initial setup, I'll go into that in a bit more detail. Um, in terms of the dimensions of the drawer, it's a 2.7 litre autoclave, which sounds very small. Um, and it is quite small for an autoclave. Autoclaves are usually 18 litres, they're usually 20 litres, 22 litres, 24 litres. Um, I think they do go down to 12 litres, but you can still get a, a two or three trays of instruments in. But the fact it's small doesn't mean to say it can't be used. Because of the seven minute cycle, it solves its own problem, we believe. So the drawer simply pops out. <laughs> Back. Like so. Uh, it also lifts out very easy for cleaning. Two holsters, this is the drawer. I'll give the drawer measurements for you. So 29 centimetres by 18.5. 
by just over three centimeters, three centimeters, call it deep. So in terms of instruments, you can probably get six or seven instruments in. This is a 16 centimeter cantilever nipper, um, a nail cutter. It can go in like that. And look, you can see there, you can probably get one, two, three, four. You might be able to get six, seven in there, plus a few files down the side. So it's not that tiny. You can, you, you can if you've got six sets of instruments, for example, um, you could do probably two sets in there. Um, but because it's only seven minutes long, you're still nowhere near 40, is it 40, 45 minutes for usually for, a, for an autoclave um, on, a, on a usual cycle. So even if you've got to do that three times, you're still only at 21 minutes, whereas a, a normal autoclave will be 40 minutes length at least for a, um, for a cycle. But that's not it. It isn't just that um, it's, it's small and got a quick cycle. It's very, very easy to use. The software that's built in um, and the touchscreen pad here is just so straightforward and that is one of the major selling points of this device. Um, so yeah, that's it. it there's, um, oh, there's the HEPA filter. Oh, right, okay. There's a HEPA filter which screws into the back of the unit. Ah, there you go, it's already in the unit. This also comes inside the box. Um, it's important that this is installed as well by yourself before you use it. Again, this is on the video. It's just a very easy screwing filter like this. Uh, and this is a consumable part, so this will need replacing. Um, I, mean, I think it's a, a thousand cycles, I think it is. Um, might be less. Usually it goes dark in there, as the HEPA is a, is a, is a, is a gas sort of um, fume filter. It's picking up any sort of toxins coming off the instruments. Um, right, the initial setup. So, you get your autoclave out of the box, your steriliser will come out of the box. You get it all on your desk like this, you'll get your two jerry cans ready, you take your lids off because you don't need the lids. The bung's going to go straight to the top, like so. The first thing you do, as mentioned before, is put your HEPA filter in. It's a dead easy job, there's a, there's a thread on the end. You simply screw it in, like so. Very simple, until it stops, don't over tighten it. As it's a plastic thread, so it can chew the thread up. Just go very, very easy. Let the thread take its own course. Um, you'll get your bottles. This has got distilled water in. You put your blue bung, which is your water, in to the machine and you distill water. This will go on your floor or somewhere out of the way. And you simply push it into the push fitment at the back of the unit. It goes in like that. You get your exit water, the, the water that's coming out of the machine. The red bung goes in the top. You put that next to the other bottle out of the way. And that again pushes out, pushes into the actual push fitment. You've got a kettle lead that also comes with the unit. Now the kettle lead is very unique um, to this device. It, this device will not take any old kettle lead. It has to be used with the lead provided. The pins are slightly different, so don't be trying to force uh, a normal kettle lead in here. Always use this kettle lead. If you've lost it, please contact us. We will have spare parts. Right, um, plug your USB stick in. Undo the cap, and this goes in the back, like so. And you're ready to power the unit on for the first time. Other, th other, other things to note, if you can't get the right bottles, they've got these very useful bottle adapters. So these will fit in a bigger bottle, a larger jerry can, for the adapters then to sit inside, um, like this. Like so. So it'll pop inside there. It means that you're not tied to a certain size of, of jerry can. You can go bigger. Unfortunately, you can't go small on the bum because you've got your risk the water not being picked up or not being output correctly. So that's the two adapters that it comes with. So you set up your autoclave. What to do next? Turn it on. There's three programs. Um, excuse the noise now. Um, it runs at maximum 40 decibels, actually, um, which is not too loud, but that's at the peak of its noise. Usually it's a gentle hum a lot of the time, and when it's depressurizing, that's where the volume really picks up. So you've got a simple screen which says hello, you simply tap hello. There's three options, you've got your fast 134 degrees, your, sl your, your slower 121 degrees, and you've got a 50 minute 134 degrees. Um, I will talk you through those cycles very shortly. First of all though, you need to go to test. There's two tests when you first plug your device in that you need to run. The first is a vacuum test to make sure the seals are working. And the next is the helix test. The helix test is actually checking to make sure that your metals are actually sterilizing and that's the most important test. So you will run both tests, you simply 
tap on vacuum test, you press start, you, you, you tap on helix test, you press start, you'll run both tests, those tests will be logged in your USB stick and that will show that when you first got your device you ran both of those tests which are incredibly important before you start sterilizing. That shows that the product was self-validated. It shows that it doesn't need an engineer to come out and commission the device. That's the most important thing. So you've run your first tests, vacuum and helix, you've pressed start, um, and now you're ready, once the tests are over, they're about 10-15 minutes each, uh, you're, like, you're ready to start actually using the actual device, you can click on program, um, we'll talk through these three programs here, again it's very very easy, um, in a minute, and then we've got an info tab, your info tab um, is where your serial number is, which is very useful, where you'd have to lift it up and try and look underneath, um, it's got the date, the time and the date, it's got how many cycles uh, you've run, uh, how many cycles to your next service, you can change the language, you can also change the noises, things like that. Um, there's not a lot going on for you to get wrong, and this is what I love about the design and the software on this. The program, uh, going back to the actual programs then, so the three programs, the first one is your 134 degrees at seven minutes, that's total seven minutes, that includes a bit of drying time as well, I think the actual sterilization is about three or four minutes. You've then got a slower 121 degrees at 30 minutes, this is for instruments which potentially might melt under a 134 degree um, um, heat temperature, uh, and that runs for about 30 minutes. Because it's cooler, it needs to run for that little bit longer. So sometimes you get nippers with a, a rubber handle, You'll, you might get a wooden brush, but it's got a metal tip. Um, there's all sorts of variations on, on types of instruments for beauty, for podiatry, for dental, where they've got things that may melt, and that's where your one, two, one comes in. And then they've got the, you've got the one, three, four, 15 minute cycle, and this is for vacuum. So this is for something you're gonna put in a, an instrument, you'll put in a sterilization pouch, you'll put inside your tray, um, and that function will vacuum um, suck all the air out of the actual unit and it'll vacuum pack your instruments in your sterile pouches. So they're the three functions. Incredibly easy to use, not complicated at all. I'm just going to turn this off to save on the, on the noise of it. So the device, like I said, comes with a USB stick. The USB stick has some software on it. Now this is your data logging software. Your data will be logged on here. It will not be able, you can't open it in any old document or any old program. You have to use the program that MBO provide. You can install the program from the USB stick, it's very easy, it takes two minutes to install and that is the program you will view all your data on. Now the data that this is going to save is every single cycle you do, what time you did the cycle, what date you did the cycle, what temperature the cycle ran at, how long it ran at, if there are any errors in that cycle. If it's a complete cycle it will tell you, um, it's, it's, it's in the form of a graph, similar to, similar to this here. As you can see, all charts, um, it, tells you the, it tells you the pressure, it, it's run at, run at all the information you need for any sort of health and safety body that comes along and wants to look at paperwork and, and, you know, and, and do an investigation, it's all there. Um, but you need to install the software, it doesn't take, two, doesn't take two minutes. Then what you'll do is you'll open the software, you'll open a file which is on that memory stick into the software and it'll pull all the data through. It'll also tell you tests, your validation tests, which are very important, um, both of them when they're run at, and it'll also give you an indication of when you need a service. Now servicing on this ideally needs to be done every thousand cycles, which they kind of MBO kind of equate to about a year. Now the servicing that we will do, uh, or we can do, is a collection service. We can collect it by a, via a courier. It can come back to us. We can service the device. It can go back out via a courier. It involves changing two seals, one on the inside of the unit, one on the door, the door seal. We'll obviously replace the HEPA filter as well anyway, uh, and we'll run two tests. And when it comes back to us, we'll also be doing the written scheme of examination for you, which is the most important thing. We'll include that in a copy of the MBO and it comes back out to you. The beauty and the size of these is servicing can be done off-site. They don't have to be done on-site. And that's why, again, we think it's an incredibly practical unit. You don't have to wait for an autoclave engineer. Also, you can help save on cost by bringing it back to us. We can do it a lot cheaper, um, a lot more affordable for you. So that's about in terms of validation, in terms of servicing, uh, warranty. This comes with a two years warranty as standard from the factory. Uh, they're absolutely brilliant at dealing with warranty. If there's any problems, and this is how confident they are in these units, if there's any issues, they will swap this unit out for a brand new one at the door, directly with you. Um, now and again they might come back to us if we need to intervene or mediate. Um, but the, we've sold uh, quite a few so far and we've not had a single problem with any of them. Um, and it's a d dead easy form on the website, you fill it in, they will contact you directly. They want to protect the brand and the quality of these, so if anything goes wrong they will just change it straight away. And that's for two years, um, which as a time, that's at, 
as we recall this video now on the brink of Brexit, that's as it stands at the moment. This is a C certified device, class 2B device, um, which means it does need some sort of governing body to come and check over the device as it stands because we're, in, we're currently still in the EU, uh, we're still okay to import and sell this. It will need eventually, I think it's by 2023, the new UK CA mark, which is fine because it will transfer from the CE mark. Uh, and then something like the MHRA or a body that they choose uh, can come and inspect this and make sure it meets the requirements for a medical class 2B device. Um, so it's good to go straight away. We have these in stock. We'll put the link in below if you like to order. What I will say is they're an incredibly affordable unit for what they are. Uh, autoclaves can range from £1,500 to three, four, five thousand pounds depending on the size and, and what you're after. But at the end of the day, for sterilising, um, a small batch of instruments, if you're mobile, if you've only got a relatively small practice, this is absolutely perfect. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments or you can drop us an email as well. Thank you.